Greetings and welcome to Factorio episode 5. So, in the previous episode, we got this up and running for our uh, iron, and our iron smelter is running really nicely down the bottom here. Look at that. It's a bit small, it's a little bit overloaded right now, but we will be increasing the throughput on that very, very shortly. I think we need to get the uh, copper one up and running first, however. But, looking at our pollution, we are tipping the edges, and I don't know what's up there. So before anything else, let's run over there and just expose those edges really quickly. I'd rather know what, we've, uh, what we're dealing with over there before we uh, before we lose anything. So let's really quickly run over here, make sure at least one notch either side is clear from a pollution point of view. Just want to go one full notch in. <clears throat> Looks like we're good so far. And radiation wise, radiation. Pollution wise, good. And that looks like it's just a water edge, which actually is really good for us as well. Come on, one little blip. <clears throat> Perfect. That means we don't have to worry about anything in this area here on the radar. We just head up north a little bit and get ourselves a little coverage here, and we know we're going to be good. I don't want to see any red dots in the short term because we're not going to get to guns anytime quickly. Also, why are we still using the pistol as a primary weapon? No, stop it. There we go. So, run, 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 run. <clears throat> just want to expose this little bit here where our uh, pollution is just teetering on the edge of getting there. Just to make sure that nothing's going to sneak through and try and kill us in the uh, in the setup time we have. Bum, 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 bum. And one more notch, then we go across. Okay, go across. Boop. And then we go. A couple more notches, and we'll be able to... We'll be good. In fact, if we zoom out, we should be... Well, that's where our base is. So we'll be going about there, which means we'll be looking to go down about there. So we're looking pretty good. Nothing is uh, visible on the uh, screen. And, uh, and the passive little radar pa check is not finding anything yet. So, excellent. So let's head down. It looks like we've got nothing to worry about. We can run through a deep forest on our way. In fact, yes, we've got nothing to worry about right now. We're not touching any of the edges we can see. So, uh, for at least for now, our uh, pollution is not a problem. So, we need to start working with gun turrets. And we just haven't got ammunition. We need to start automating some ammunition for those turrets for when we do need them. So, I think the first thing would be get those turrets updated. Because, oh, uh, and. Because we don't have that much on the ammunition. We have 10 clips right now. And then we get these guys moving. Because right now... Thanks. Right now they're uh, they're a bit constrained and we just need to get stuff. So we do have nothing of interest. Good. We need to start making some stuff. Give me an assembler. Here we go. And we we'll get an assembler down here. For now we'll just take straight off the bus. Get things moving with making ammunition. So first things first. Assembler just there. Uh, insert arm there. You will be making ammunition. Be under military, Peter. Oh, yeah, there it is. You're making ammunition. You're up forever. And we need another insert arm. Insert arm. And <clears throat> honestly, I want a bigger chest this time around. I want an iron chest because I want to make sure that it has enough. You know what? No. Oh, make that. That will actually do fine. <clears throat> um, Pop that there. Pop that there. And there they go. What is the recipe? Four. Okay, but it makes it so quickly. Okay, I see what's happening. Fair enough. Then let's put and juice that with the next one. Boom. There we go. So you can start making that. You can get it. Okay, I'm happy with the production. It's basically keeping up. Two arms to do it. Perfect. That will give us ammunition. Ammunition is important. In fact, just to make sure we know how important ammunition is, let's drop a gun to it down here. Boom. And just... Mostly for the sheer fun that we can do it. Let's pop that uh, there. There you go. <laughs> That's for no reason other than we can just have the auto load. <laughs> okay, so we need to get our first um, copper, one up, copper mine up running. Let's actually start by getting the mine itself running. Uh, let's run it side by side here. Let's actually not have a gap for the copper to come through. So give me a four gap. One, two, three, four. There. But now we're running the same dimensions as the uh, current one. So we're going to need to have a four gap here. One, two, three, four, one. We have blueprints, right? Why, why am I doing it by hand? I, I, hang on a minute. Do I have a blueprint with this already? 
thinking, thinking. I do not. Give me a blueprint. Copy that to there. And we'll just call this smelter. Nice and easy. There we go. Boom. Make me that. Uh, there. Yep. Boom. And there we go. We have a smelter planned down. So we just need to make sure we have undergrounds, which we don't. I need one underground there. <clears throat> need another underground there. So I need two undergrounds. Two, 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 two undergrounds. I need one, two, three splitters. There we go. And that should be good for all the things we kind of need for that. We have the belts. So we should have enough. Let's get the belts placed down where we're uh, moving. Let's run that down. I have more belts than that, right? The belts have been eaten up by that. Ugh. Fine. Um, <clears throat> make me two more assemblers. In the process. We'll uh, have them automate belts really quickly. These are temporary builds until we get proper smelters up and running. And we get our bus running. Bus is very close to being running. So... Uh, that's not too bad. These guys, however, we can put down four of these. There we go. And a radar dish. Ooh, I forgot I had that. <clears throat> Let's drop you here. There we go. Now we have radar coverage in the area. In fact, I would actually much prefer you to be down near the gun. Because the gun's got... The gun's down where our, where our, uh, our base is going to be uh, signalling people. So there we go. We can now see down here very, very easily. Also, I feel we pushed the pollution down there a bit by having that assembled there. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's all done there. And that's all been fine. Okay. Uh, two assemblers over here. Put the first one there. The second one can go there. A chest can go there. And we need one, two, three, four. Here are you guys, my friends. Hello. Uh, I don't want to use any of these uh, electric ones. You there. And then you start making gear wheels. Uh, oh, thank you. And you start making convey belts. We just need to plate in the gear wheel. That's good. We would need you to go that way. You to go that way. And you to go there. <coughs> there we go. Uh, I will cap this one off at two sets of convey... No, four sets of convey belts. We need them, but we don't need that many of them yet and I would prefer to have a proper setup when we have a chest full. How's our ammunition? A hundred. Boom. Thank you. There we go. I now have some ammunition in my gun. Excellent. Uh, you're doing that. You're fine. You're going to keep making those. Excellent. I'm going to grab those from now but I will need more. Uh, in fact, I'm going to need more very, very shortly. So let's do that to there. That's the same lineup. We have 13. That is not enough to even complete that line. So let's get more. Boop. That's 10. Again, not enough but uh, we can get started. There we go, and then five that way, one that way. See, it already paying off us doing this. Wow, that's just literally you. you that was made more than you can actually output. That is actually really good. I don't expect the uh, production to be that efficient. You run there, and you can run that way when we have it. Perfect. Uh, insert rounds. I'm going to need two, four. Uh, that should get us most. I don't want to craft more just yet. I need to keep my inventory uh, available for crafting. But uh, that should get us most of what we need there. Oh, let's just finish that off because I feel I will be missing out if I don't. And you... Thank you, save. Always appreciate it, my friend. And when you there. There we go. Now we have that coming down. We just need to put the undergrounds in place, which we crafted earlier. So underground, you from there. So you can't reach today, see, unfortunately, to there, to there, to there. That will do perfectly. And then the splitters, which we also crafted earlier. One would go there, one would go there, and one would go there. And there is our coal supply. Excellent. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Uh, you would go there and there. there. Nope, there and there. And then down here, there, 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 there. there. Flip around. I'm going to need... Oh, yeah, I'm going to need more. And I don't really need to worry about my crafting bench being full. I am going to need more of these guys, though. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. There we go. That's just going to be 8 being crafted. 
I don't think we have any... No, we don't. Good. I don't want to make any extra suspense. Don't be worried about it. Uh, yeah, I'll take the belts. And we can start making this uh, copper very, very shortly. In fact, let's get you guys positioned in. Boom, boom. And that's all of those. Good. I am making extras, but I will really need them. But I kind of overspect this area, which I'm not too sad about. And uh, make me... Uh, Get rid of those. Actually, I don't need those. I do need... Stop it. I do need two more of these now because I cancelled two by accident. There we go. Uh, if you can make me the uh, furnaces, we'll be great on our way. Excellent. Furnaces. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Now, the last thing is power cables. Power cables. Boom, boom. Because they're important. We only have one left and I need to put down these every uh, at every intersection. Uh, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Thank you, autosave. I feel my autosave is a little bit too uh, regular, but uh, I'd rather have more regular than less regular. And go, they're loading up. Excellent. Now, with our uh, extra stuff, we can get up here and we can tap these guys in. Now, I need to make this sort of setup for you. We have to, however, start dealing with this stone because we have a problem. And that is when these eventually fill up, and they will fill up. We are in trouble. Um, the stone is a problem. What can we use stone for? Is there a recipe? We are, ooh, our research. Speaking of research things, um, advanced or refining would be useful, but I'm not too worried about it right now. What treatment? Not interested right now. Uh, that would give me the assembly machine mark one. You would give me the chemical furnace. Greenhouses. Greenhouses could be useful in the future. Very short future, actually. Distillery. Long arm inserters would definitely be useful. Long arm inserters are next, then. Okay, let's just get you crafting. Oop, not, not one of them. No. Make me 10 of them for now, and we'll come down. Okay, so I need to have a proper system in place soon. But I need three of these and three of them. So give me... Where's the crushers? The crushers are under this one. There they are. One, two, three... Uh, one, two, three. Are they electric? Are they burners? Okay, they're burning through coal, but they're not doing too much coal. Uh, we have electric ones. Ore crusher. Yes, we have an ore crusher and an ore crusher facility. Uh, sorts refined ores into smeltable ores. Okay. Uh, Toasting fingers in crushes raw ores. All right. So you, uh, you're the, you're the, you're the filter one. Hmm. I could make, I could use you actually. I would need a, you know, we could have some furnaces up here. Give me some furnaces. Uh, furnace, furnace. Give me two furnaces for now. And then what we'll do is we'll drop them here and get them to convert this stone into something useful. So if I put one there, and we put one to. Can't really, unfortunately, I was going to put a box between them. Where's my. There it is. But uh, they, can't have, they can't do that, unfortunately. They're just off angle. You know, actually, what would happen? If we pick that up. And we pick that up. And we placed you there. Or you could ignore me and do it the other way. That's fine as well. Place you there. Uh, power pull you... There. So we have power. And drop all the stone in there. I don't need any of that stone. You can move. Aha! So what we can do is place that chest there. And insert around there. Insert around there. Insert around there. And insert around there. Good. And then do a furnace there so now you are being filled with stone excellent and you can have half of my fuel and you can have the other half of my fuel there you go excellent now just put your power pole down and you can start making me brick because brick is something I desperately am going to be needing and also has a way of getting rid of some of the some of that excellent uh, let's come to the coal there we go always got to keep those two around for just quick access to a supply of coal uh, because these guys are going to need pretty much all they can get. There they go. And they'll be making me brick. Brick is perfect for what I need to make you next, which is... You. I should build at least one of you and test you out. If these are better, then we'll go with a better one. Uh, why are you not doing anything more? But you are full of stone. Okay. And let's... Yes. Give me a, an insert ram pointing down. Give me a wooden chest. 
uh, just there, and we'll fill it with the uh, dust. Just get you moving, because I don't want to be carrying it, and I need that to be done. So boom. Right. So what else we need here? Some plates. Damn it! Why is everything down here? I need to get. I need a supply of materials, basically. Duh, duh. I need to. I need. I need to move faster. I need to build a run faster. There we go. And you know what? While I'm down here, uh, yoink! Thank you. Thank you, Autosave. save. Dun, 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 dun. Right. So I'm not gonna make any more of you until I see what you actually. Do. Whoa, you're big. Okay. Uh, what's the? Did it not rotate? Okay. That one doesn't rotate. Ah. Uh. That one doesn't rotate. Okay. Well, I was hoping it would do. But before we do anything else, let's put you here. Uh, line you up there for a second. Boom. If I ask you to cover... What colour are you? You're the light blue one. That one. You would output crushed sapphire ore sorting. Cr uh, crushed sapphire ore sorting. And... So you're going to put out basically anything. Okay. Well. Uh, let's grab a chunk of you. <clears throat> and see what you actually produce. I need to know what you're going to produce if I'm going to turn you on and start making stuff. So boom. There you go. And you produce... That, that, and that. Okay, but if I burn some of that stuff, do I get anything useful out of it? Uh, I don't know, because I keep looking in the wrong places. So, give me another assembler. That's just a feeling I've got there. And where would you be if you were. Um, for, there you are, I need. I'm short on stone. Wow, okay. Boom, thanks. Um, and the furnace. Okay, so. We've got a bit of each of that now. Let's see what we can do with this. So first of all, um, stop that. What have I even forgot? I have copper ore. Excellent. Copper ore is always good. Iron ore. Okay. Looking good. And slag. Now I'm guessing if I put the slag into a furnace... I can't put the slag into a furnace. Can you take slag? No. So now I have a... I don't make it stone anymore with this one. Which is fine. I have enough stone coming out of there. But if I don't make stone... Then... What do I get? If we're not making stone... We get iron ore and, co and copper ore. Which is great. But we get slag. And uh, what can I do with slag? Can't put it into a furnace. I tried. It won't go in. So I can not be melted. Hmm. Okay, do I have the tool for this? Insecure, that's a great planner. I don't. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to install the, um, the mod that lets me know what things are used in. I completely forgot to get that mod after the last update that episode. But uh, for now, we'll be good and we'll see how this goes. We are, however, making a load of brick. It's going to be good because I need it for walls. So we do need brick, that's the thing. So it might be worth keeping these guys operational making bricks for now and this guy can make the ores well I'm going to need filtering inserters aren't I to get this stuff out because yeah because otherwise that's oh that's a problem oh that is that is, a, that is indeed, a, indeed a problem um take the 10 I already made and we need to look at getting filtering inserters in place because if you're going to output two different types of useful material I can't have you putting out uh Onto a mixed belt, that would be a bad thing. I mean, that's what we're using now to sort out the stone. That won't work for you guys. So, okay. Next episode, we're going to figure out what the hell we can do with slack, um, slack and we're going to find out other stuff. But before we do that, let's at the very least protect this area here with a gun. And at least 50 clips in it. There we go. And a one over here to protect this lot. Again, with the 50 clips in it. Boom, and then we'll go get ourselves some more ammo. And we'll figure out what the hell we're going to do with that. Let me know what you think. Thank you, what I'll say. Let me know what you think of the series so far. And if you see any improvements, because you've probably seen the mods better than I have, please do let me know. And until then... Let me check my steel. Comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.